Hello everyone, so this is Mr. Choi and in this video I will be introducing the transformer equation to you and uh, I will be sharing with you some of its application as well. So uh, in the earlier video, I have shared with you that for a transformer, uh, we are going to regulate the output voltage by changing the ratio between the number of turns uh, in the primary coil and the secondary coil. So this ratio uh, will allow us to form this transformer equation and as a result allow us to actually control the amount of output voltage through uh, changing the number of turns in the different coils. So uh, because you haven't learned the magnetic, you have not learned what is magnetic flux, uh, I, I will, it, it will be quite challenging for me to actually explain to you how this equation come about. But if you are really curious about it and interested, I will be posting up another video at the end of uh, this SLS page and you can go into it. So for now, I want you all to just accept that uh, the number of turns in the coil is directly proportional to the EMF. So let's say I have this uh, circuit. Uh, if you look at this, you will actually see the electrical symbol of a transformer. So in the question, they need to tell you the turn ratio uh, of this transformer. So I, I will be just using some dummy value to illustrate to you how to use this uh, transformer equation. So for example, down here, you can see that I have an AC power source on the left. This means that this is my primary coil and this is my secondary coil. So in the question, they will need to give you some information about the number of turns in the coil. Uh, normally, the number of turns is uh, given the symbol capital N. And uh, with a subscript P, this will tell you this is the primary uh, number of turns in the primary coil. So let's say the number of turns in the primary coil is let's say 50. And in the secondary coil, the number of turn is, let's say, uh, 250. Then, uh, our transformer equation actually has this form. NP over NS is equals to VP over VS. So as long as you keep to the correct subscript, uh, it is fine. You can also write this as uh, ns over mp but it will be equal to vs over vp so let's say i have this particular transformer with uh, mp 50 and ns 250 and i want to find out what would be my output voltage over here so down here i know that my input voltage is 100 so all you need to do now is to just sub it in so 50 250 vp will be uh, 100 and then Vs is what we want to find. And you can see that uh, your Vs will be actually equals to 500. So in this case, you can see that my output voltage Vs is 500, whereas my input voltage Vp is actually 100 volt. So you can see that by having a turn ratio of uh, 250 to 50, I'm able to uh, step up my voltage to 500. So down here we say that this is what we call a step up transformer because the output voltage is larger. Now let me use the same uh, setting and I change the question a little bit. So now let's say I, I have the same number of primary coil 50. Uh, I have the same primary voltage let's say 100 volt but this time round I wanted my output voltage to be smaller let's say I want it to be smaller uh, till 2 volt right I want to use a 100 volt supply and charge maybe my uh, power bank only 2 volt is needed so I want to know what how many uh, turns should I have on my secondary coin well I can still use my uh, equation Well, then after that, I can do a quick substitution. NS, I do not know, right? VP is 100, VS is 2, right? So you can see that this will be this. Uh, that would be 50. And so 
my ns will be one turn right so now i know that oh okay i need one turn so down here you can see that my input voltage is uh, bigger than my output voltage so this means that this type of transformer is what we call a step down transformer right and you can see that there is actually a feature that is uh, can, can become a trend so for a step up transformer you can see that the number of turns in the secondary coil is actually larger than the primary coil and in a step down transformer you can see that the secondary coil the number of turns in the secondary coil is actually less than the primary coil so you can actually look at the number of turns in the respective coil and make a quick uh, deduction on whether this transformer is stepping up the voltage or stepping down the voltage yeah now another interesting fact is that uh, there is an extension to this particular formula so this extension is uh, how about if I want to find the current right in the secondary coil yeah uh, for this right you need to first understand what is called an ideal transformer so for this particular ideal transformer right what we are saying is that the power in the primary coil should be completely transferred to the power of secondary coil now you will notice that I didn't use the word energy primary equals to energy secondary. The reason is because of Faraday's law. Because Faraday's law deal with the rate of change. So because of that, I have to use power instead. And uh, the power is actually given by the formula P equals to VI, right? So actually I can uh, ex expand this uh, equality and turn it into v primary times i primary equals to v secondary times i secondary and you can see that if i rearrange the uh, form i will be able to get uh, something like this oops sorry i will be able to get something like this so if now i combine this equation with this equation i can see that uh, n s over n p is equals to v s over v p which means that it is equals to i p versus i s so actually this equation can uh, be branched out well into two equation so you can use the turn ratio to deduce the ratio between the voltage uh, across the respective secondary and primary coil and you can also use the turn ratio to actually deduce the uh, ratio between the current in the respective coil okay just for uh, one more additional thing uh, there is this term called the turn ratio for turn ratio right it is specific so it has to be the secondary above the primary so this is what we call the turn ratio so for this this is your uh, transformer equation and you can use it to calculate uh, how many turns you want in different coil depending on your input and output voltage or you can look at the turn ratio and deduce what is the output voltage or the output current and of course you also need to know this very important concept of what is an ideal transformer that there is no power loss between the primary and secondary coil Okay, because in some question they may put in a uh, certain efficiency. So for example, I can actually uh, come up with a question whereby I say that, okay, I have this transformer and uh, this transformer have actually an efficiency of let's say 85%, right? And uh, I can quickly set a question and illustrate to you. So let's say I have this 200 volt AC supply right and then I have this and I have a transformer and then now I want to know uh, I have a load here I want to know actually how much voltage is here and in the question I tell you that oh, okay uh, down here mm, the turn ratio here maybe is a 10 and then maybe the secondary one is a hundred so now I want to know what is the uh, output voltage here with an efficiency of 85, 
right? So quickly, I will know that, oh, okay, uh, in this case, well, I can quickly deduce that, okay, it is going to be a step up transformer, right? So I would expect my uh, V secondary to be larger than my V primary already, right? Then I would also know that uh, in the ideal case, if everything is ideal, I would be able to write this NSMP equals to VSVP, right? So this will give me 100 over 10, and then this will give me a uh, VS over 200. So ideally, I should have a voltage of 2000 volt. But now I am running at 85% efficiency, meaning that will I get a 100% transfer? No, right? So because of that, I would then need 200 volt times 85% to actually get my final answer, okay? So in this video, uh, let me summarize what are the things you have learned. Number one is that you need to know that there is this thing called the transformer equation. Uh, you also need to know that this transformer equation can be uh, expanded and uh, it can have two form. Uh, just be very careful when it is number of turns uh, to uh, voltage. It will be NS on top, VS on top, MP below, VP below. But when you want to equate it to the ratio of current, then uh, the S and P will flip, right? Another thing is that you also need to know what is an ideal transformer. It means that the power uh, transfer between primary and secondary is 100%. And as a result, it means that some question can give you a certain efficiency and you, need, you should know how to deal with it.